This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Hello and welcome to Hit or Glitch, a podcast where we explore the multiverse of geek culture and experiment with rules and systems. This season, we are exploring a galaxy far, far away. Previously, our adventurers uncovered the corrupting influence of Khan Laroon, a Twi'lek engineer turned high priest, and offered to rescue one of his former crewmates. Tonight, we see if the crew can get their ship back. So, the plan as it stands right now is we're going to use the Zabrak as a decoy saying that he is a descendant of the Jedi. Okay. We're going to, uh, I'm going to be in the back using as a sniper in any case. The Wookiee's going to stay, I'll be a little bit closer, but still be back. Also co- uh, doing covering fire just in case. And the Stormtrooper and the Twi'lek are going to go shut off the power and get the holog- hologram, whatever it is, and maybe the ship. Okay. That's a interesting plan. <laughs> That's the plan in discussion. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to throw a snag in it right now. You guys hear ion engines roaring above you. All right. Do we recognize the sound of those ion engines? Give me a wits crafts roll, I guess. I guess I'll pull that one right out for us. Don't worry, guys. I got a 10 on a chance die. So that's one success. (laughs) I got two. I got two. I'll take three. All right. Let's see. One success. One success, you recognize them as probably freighter engines. Okay. It's a freighter, guys. In case you didn't know. <laughs> we all know. We all stare at you like you're dumb. <laughs> it's hard to tell because two people are wearing helmets. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's somehow a... they still convey it. <laughs> no, one's wearing a helmet, one's wearing an animal skull. It's true. At two or better, it is... A YT series. Oh, wait. No. Wrong ship. It's not the YT series. Reverse that. <laughs> it's, it's a TY series. It's the uh, Gibbet ship. Okay. I'm going to pop my head out the door and look Damn up. It. Now I'm confused. Hang on a second. Let me uh, relook at my notes here. Perfect. Okay, yes. <coughs> it's a YT series engine. Okay. I'm going to pop my head out the door and look up. Uh, it's passed already. With the three? Three? Yeah, you don't get any more than that, really. Because you didn't hear the ship take off. Other than it's uh, they're in good repair. Sounds clean. It's better than those Harley Davidson freighters. <laughs> when they fly by, you, you basically go deaf for a week. Yeah. So somebody else's... But it's, the sound was definitely headed south. And it was low. Which way south? Is that that's away south from everything? Towards the power plant. We're on yeah. the north end of town. Okay. Right. The we're the northeast power plant is southwest. Well, we better move okay. before we have company. Oh. But uh, B was like, I think it's already here. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. We might not have to do plan whatever plan that was. Plan, make it up as we go. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be the our way of doing kinds. this. Oh, yes. After the exposition dump last episode, that marks a point at which I was going to give you guys more experience. Oh, oh yeah. So, we're going to give you guys... I think I'm going to go with 4 XP because of some of the shenanigans, and I think you guys learned some things without needing to state it. What would it cost to pick up a Force ability? Uh, to improve connection, it is 8 XP. 8, eight times new. So for the first dot, it would be 1 dot. Or 8 XP. And with that, you get one foci for free. And you also get a rote, a technique. But I would have to spend 8 to get... Yeah. And that would just move up my force sensitivity. So 1, yeah. Well, it makes it a connection 1, yeah. Because I had to spend 3 to get it. I had 3 dots initially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's essentially like buying... It's the equivalent of buying a fourth dot in America. Okay. But it makes your connection to the force one. And you get one in the close side. 
where you can have a, a, one of your specialties work for another skill. Interdisciplinary. Yeah. Yeah. How much does that cost? I don't remember. It's, it's maybe a two dot. Uh, I don't know. If it's on. It I think it is two. I may it may only be a one because it's. It requires you to have three and two skills and a specialty in one. Yeah, because of the the huge requirements. I think it's just a one dot merit. But you can't have another merit and or you can't have another specialty in that. Two one. Okay. Three and two skills and one specialty. Awesome. You gonna spend any XP? I did. Oh, what'd you get? Picked up another point in Setterfuge. <laughs> 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 All right. I still got one point of XP left over. So you can engage in an act of subterfuge. Exactly. I am not the stormtrooper you're looking for. You're the only stormtrooper on the planet. Still not the one you're looking <laughs> for. <laughs> Were you gonna pick up that dog connection? I can't, but oh, I only have a total of seven. Okay. I'm one, of course. I'm one life. I am, however, going to, um, since I had banked the last three you gave us, uh, we had talked about, for my background, adding the dot of archery, and then also put in a dot of subterfuge. Um, I have done a lot of lying over this campaign. It's true. It's true. So, yeah, I now have subterfuge and archery. Very good. And I have one banked. Okay. So, basically, I'm just going to sit here with my helmet off and go, Read my face. This is this is how you do it. <laughs> I am a Zap Rack descendant. I'm just continuing to put points into fighting styles. <laughs> so I got heavy weapons too. I'm getting now a, I can run and gun with a big gun. I'm getting a, a second dot in the traps. Well, yeah, to reflect your efforts of the last few episodes. Yeah, and I only have two points left, which I think I will just cash for right now. Okay. Don't know what else to do with it. I was thinking about getting that thing, but whatever. Interdisciplinary. But I don't have the points that I need to do it. I mean, I do have two points that I can buy it. I just don't have the skills at three, at three that I want to do it with. Ah. All right. So the ship is landing near where you guys want to be, and it will definitely land before you can get there. Which means the crew will. Definitely be captured by the time we get there. It seems to me. They're either going to come in hot or they're going to come in lazy. Depending on how they come in is, is, is the kind of scene that they're going to make. Now if everybody comes bursting out during that time to see what's going on with them, that mass confusion might give us the opportunity we need to slip in there and grab what we need and get out without much trouble. Possibly. Let's do it. Let's go. Eva, don't start. You move now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it through the server, but it's like pucker factor five. <laughs> we need to roll. <laughs> so we all pile out of the uh, cardboard. Uh, Are you saying we don't help the people? Uh, we steal what we need, and we might as well be helping them. I mean, we'll probably be helping them just by doing that. We'll probably be doing that, be helping them just by doing that. Yeah, when we steal a hologram, he's not going to have anything to really... No, we have to make sure he's unseated. We're not leaving this to a causality thing. Okay, put a band-aid on that bleeding heart of yours. Let's just get this done with and we'll figure it out later. We're losing our time window the, the here plan. pretty dang quick. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Eva comes in. Her leg who is twitching. We can steal the ship, stash it somewhere nearby, and come back and finish it if we have to. That is an option. I mean, really even if, if even if all we can do is get the ship, that still doesn't get us what we came here for. Fine. Let's do it. Let's He's already go. walking away. Yeah, I'm after the walk. Yeah, Gail is also a hobbling. Out the door. Off we go. Mm -hmm. I'll walk beside Gail, helping her if she needs it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't accept your help. She is strong. I'm, I'm not like operating it, but if like she starts to stumble, I'll okay. help catch her kind of thing. Not like, here, you can't do this. All right. Her speed is five. So I'll be going at less than half my speed. Okay. <laughs> half that. I'm not going that fast. Slow. <laughs> Waving goodbye. Yeah. Wait. When we were making this plan, 
Oh, wait, no, you're the one who's supposed to be going to the cathedral. Yeah, I guess you could walk slower. The rest of us can get to our positions by the time it takes you to get there. We made a promise to her that we were taking her with us. Well, yeah. And, you and we're see. taking you with us, too. <laughs> but yeah. we got to have something to go for any of us to go. It'll all work itself out in the end. Beavis said so. Let's roll. <laughs> all right. Is anybody going to give the Zabrak a com link? Mine's in my helmet. <laughs> Yours is in your helmet. I have mine. Yes, I can give you mine. Although, I'm probably going to be the one farthest back. I'm sniping people. Yes, but you'll have the best line of sight on everybody. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll give you the comic. This is probably going to backfire here pretty quick, but whatever. Wait, doesn't Beva have one? Yes. So then I'll have Beva toss hers to him. Because no. I've got mine in my head. She doesn't give hers up. <laughs> okay. Ever. Or anything. <laughs> it's her way to hack into things. Uh, wait, I... Comlink? Comlink, data pad. Pretty much the same thing. She has both. She doesn't give them up. Or anything. <laughs> ever. That, that'd be like the Wookiee handing over his gun. It just ain't gonna happen. Or the thief with his lockpicks in a ring giving it that ring to somebody. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. Or me giving up my ship. Oh, wait. <laughs> hey, you didn't give ship. it up. It was taken from you. It and technically he, wasn't taken from him. He left it and it was found. <laughs> I'm just saying a couple episodes ago, he was originally going to stay. Let's just get this over with. This would have much been a very different... Anyway. I'm never leaving my ship after this. <laughs> Tim, Slur needs to make a warfare test. Oh, yeah. Warfare what? Totally. Intelligence. Chance die. Chance die. Find a good uh, rooftop to perch on. Yep. Nope. It's like, hey, I need to get on top of that building. And the Wookiee throws him. <laughs> if you want to, we've already determined how far you can throw him. And uh, yes, that is high enough that he can get to the roof. <laughs> we also determined that he can't catch. So as long as he doesn't have to catch the end of it, he'll be okay. Well, he's going to have to make a dexterity athletics to stick the landing. <laughs> he has climb. He can just do it himself. It lands on his butt. Who cares? <laughs> if yeah, so it's a strength athletics. If you want to climb, yeah, right there. Uh, it's a dex athletics. The if the Wookiee is gonna throw you, could you repeat that? Because two people talked over you. It's a dex athletics. If he if the Wookiee's gonna throw him, or a strength athletics if he's gonna climb. Okay, so you said it's uh, strength athletics to climb up, or dexterity athletics if he chucks me. Yep. Okay. Let's go with that one. Okay, I'm cool with Basketball this. Basketball special. <laughs> huh? Fastball special. <laughs> so the Wookiee's going to roll Strength Athletics? Oh, Strength Athletics? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's Dexterity yeah. Athletics for him to stick the landing. Yeah. Would my climb apply to this or no? No. Okay. No. Uh, I got two. All right. You're getting Chuck. There's no <laughs> two. I also got two. All right. Yep, you get him up, and uh, you catch yourself before you fall to the ground. <laughs> Flip up there and take a position. The ship landed. Hmm. Like, just sort of dropped in the middle of town. Well, not in the middle of town, but you see it just uh, a little further south than the, the cathedral, quote-unquote, the craft ship and the power plant. It's a little further south than that. Mirage. And there's a gathering of people around it. Ooh. Natives? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep. Grenade. See, you were going to the power plant? Mm -hmm. Me and Beaver are going to the power plant. Where were you going? I was going to try to take up a position in between the Zabrak and the power plant team so that I could cover either one should the situation go south. Okay. But either way, I'm not walking out of the buildings to where I can be seen very well yet. So I'm just basically going to stay... Okay. Line of buildings. It's here. It's a wide open square. Yeah, just before the square, then I'd go towards this direction that the power plant is, and then stay in the buildings there. Okay. So you switch to the west side. Stealth rolls, please. Dexterity. Uh yes. Any modifier? I will give a plus a one for what's going on down the way. Can I get a cover bonus? Cool. No. 
Damn it. Three for me. Six. Jeez. Well, looks like about normal. Six. None? That'd be none. Since we're in the middle of this and it's too late to kind of uh, rewind, I'm just going to say I thought we had gone with Viva suggesting to get the ship and then come back to free the people, not execute the plan right away. But okay. <laughs> That's why Gail was with us. It still, what we're doing still works because at least we're shutting down the power plant. <coughs> we don't have to solely rely on the jammer. Be able to move the ship real quick. And we can still communicate by. You have a comlink. Com you can tell them that. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> this is already happening. This is already happening. Yeah. We're done. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about the comlink. I just put it in my because I don't use one ever. I'm just with someone who has one. <laughs> Nuts to butts. Line them up and let's roll. <sighs> All right. How many did you still Three. text? Three. Okay. She also got two or three. You got six, so you're able to get as close as you want to wherever it is you want to get to, basically. Is she telling you where the ship is? Uh, what, what's just? I don't think she ever said exactly where it was. She is heading in that direction. Though. Okay. Well, at, at the point we were stalled in, since we're going ahead with the plan, I would tell her to head for the ship and... I would try to get close to the quote unquote stage, I guess, area. Cathedral. Okay. C cathedral, wherever the prayer is being led. Okay. Um, the prayer meeting basically is over. Okay. By the time you guys make your way here, because Gail took, takes so long, and it's basically the other side of town. Mm -hmm. However, as the boarding ramp of the YT 2450 comes down out of a side airlock of the cathedral you see a Twi'lek and three of the natives of the Gonquin. Uh, one of them appears to be uh, older and one is jet black and the one that you assume is this admiral guy he has these coloring of a jaguar where you know his the most of his fur is like a cream color he's got sort of the black circles with the red brown around them. Mm -hmm. That's what he that's his coloration on his fur. And he looks it looks like he has the domes of an R2 unit bisected as shoulder pads. Nice. That's, that's pretty good. And with them also trailing behind is your compadre. There he is. Talked his way out of it. Huh. Talked his way out of death, at least. The human comes walking down the plank. The very tall, tall guy? No, what? the woman. Oh. The human woman. The other guy was the other ship. Oh. And she is flanked by the two Weequay, and the Yazim is behind them with a huge rotary repeating blaster, with the given bringing up the very end. And they appear to be speaking. Do you want to try to hear it? I do. All right. Wits composure, minus three. And I will spend the willpower to cancel off that minus. All right. Because I would like to hear this. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Hallelujah. Exceptional success. Three. Yes, five on five dice. Three of them exploded. So. Master Khan, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, Samantha. You had an offer for me. I did. You tell me what Zidane told me is not true. I did. Where is your evidence? She hands him a pad. This is really not going good. He's looking down at it. And the Admiral guy is like, Well, is it true? It would appear that it is true. 